Hello, this is Eileen, the Environmental Educator, and in this video, uh, we are going to talk about the dynamic duo, <laughs> yes, uh, that would be Kennedy and O'Keefe and his OMG, the O'Keefe Media Group, who this is their Facebook page, and five days ago, today is Sunday, June 4th, 2023, uh, James put out this teaser, you know, it, it basically is, is kind of like a propaganda outlet fluff piece, okay? And this is what we started out with here. I joined the commercial fisherman on the Hudson River and started suing polluters. I used to swim in Hudson when I was a child. Uh, that may explain some stuff about you, oh. James. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that is kind of funny. I would say something, you know, like that to somebody. But, um... I have not paid. You can pay. It's for subscribers only. <laughs> me paying to watch this would be like me paying to read Al Gore's fraudulent book. Okay. So, you know, then they go on to talk about the deep state and whatnot. But this is how O'Keefe started this out, promoting Bobby as Mr. Environmental. And why is that? Well, here's activist Bass and here's Robert F. Kennedy. It doesn't say junior, but but this is him. Uh, the president of the Waterkeeper Alliance, oh yeah, a chief prosecuting attorney, a senior attorney with the NRDC. Yes, very, very impressive. Mm-hmm, sure. Now, Bobby will cheerlead himself, you know, and hey, he with the Waterkeeper Alliance, he cleaned up the Hudson River, okay? Yay, Bobby, yay! Now, with the NRDC, now the NRDC is still screaming for solutions that that they have proven they don't have, even though they, they tell you how great they are, and that they have refused since November 93, okay? And Bobby Bobby knows that, <laughs> okay? And, and right here on uh, Climate One, it, it says, as a former senior attorney for the Natural Resources Defense Council, uh, Bobby Kennedy sought to establish sustainability and good stewardship of the earth as the central ethical imperatives of human society. Oh, <laughs> Kennedy has worked on environmental issues across the Americas and has assisted several indigenous tribes in Latin America and Canada in successfully negotiating treaties uh, protecting traditional homelands. Oh, well, that's great. And then they talk about... Um, you know, the New York City water supply and the the basically the the Hudson River here. But what isn't said here is that um since ninety eight, when I met his brother Joe, who got my work to Al Gore, if you've been around here before, and then I got letters from Gore, and then I don't know, it was ninety eight, ninety nine, two thousand, my last season in Vail when Bobby tried to get on a chairlift with me. He he was in town for a, a celebrity ski race, you know, and um, and, and up top, I, I just come skiing in and these two guys are standing at the front of the lift line and they're not moving. So I went towards the chair with the only three people there. But when I went to go to the chair, uh, not the veil red jacket, top management, they wear red jackets, but the guy with them moved out like he was going to get on the chair with me and the red jacket put his hand out in front of him and, and it was Bobby. I was there. <laughs> okay. And then we're riding up and um, they call my name three times. <laughs> okay. And I, so on the third time I turn around, I'm like, yeah, they're like, what? Huh? what? I'm like, you didn't just call my name. No. Oh my God. No, no, no. I'm like, what are you guys in third grade? And then I turned around. So that's what I said to Bobby. And, you know, for all this hoopla, oh, especially you have to love, you know, that he uh, seeks to establish sustainability and good stewardship of the earth. Uh, you you got to love that since 98, uh, Bobby Kennedy has been refusing to give the world the light year's best environmental education and agenda the world needs. So this would have not just cleaned up the Hudson, but this would have ended 
are so many abuses, including so many toxins and chemicals that we put in rivers all over this country. We could have cleaned up all the rivers. We could not have our ocean garbage patch. We could not have our plastic waste problem. We could not have all of the emissions that we have. We could not have all of the water and soil and air pollution that's out there. And it goes beyond greenhouse gases. But we could have solved them all but Bobby has refused to since 98, okay? But here is James O'Keefe out just promoting Bobby. His lead-in was that Bobby is an environmental hero, okay? Now, James O'Keefe knows the difference, or he should, because I have sent many things to his O'Keefe's media group you know, on distribution with Bobby, and they don't care. They think this is funny. So re remember when James told us this? I just want them to tell the whole story. When it comes to serious reporting, omission of facts can be just as dangerous as outright lies. You we know hear what? At Project Verit Okay, this is so important. Let's just play that again. I just want them to tell the whole story. When it comes to serious reporting, omission of facts can be just as dangerous as outright lies. We hear omission of facts are as dangerous as outright lies. Uh, <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Project Veritas believe in truth and telling the complete story. Oh, the complete story. The complete story that when James O'Keefe. Mr. I ambush people, okay? And right here, th these are just a few of the people that James O'Keefe has ambushed. Uh, okay, well, that right there is one guy who will get more, you know, like uh, this guy, that he was a news guy, and um, this is a, a CNN guy. And there's O'Keefe, you know, where we are all familiar. There's O'Keefe. I think this might be a CNN guy, too. Okay, endlessly. Endlessly chasing people down, confronting them, getting them on camera about truth. And if they're misleading people, and here O'Keefe is. Oh, but he's with his buddy now. Oh, okay. So uh, here's O'Keefe when he's resigning from Project Veritas. Off the grid as requested. Went hiking with Kennedy in the mountains. Oh, with Kennedy. His buddy Kennedy. Okay, and here's another clip from his resignation. Later on the 15th, the same day, while hiking with Kennedy, PV put a... Kennedy, with Kennedy. My buddy Kennedy. Oh, oh, his buddy Kennedy. But what does James O'Keefe say about journalism and the credo of journalism? Okay, and here is just one of O'Keefe's... Um, Videos where he talks about operating without fear or favor. Times his motto, Eric, was without fear or favor. That was from 1896. Adolf Ox was the publisher. Solzhenitsyn says the man who ceases to be afraid of threats and who is no longer chasing after rewards becomes the most dangerous man in the world. Very, one of my favorite quotes from Solzhenitsyn is he's effectively saying operate without fear or favor, right? They're, they're so that, that would be without favor. That would be, you know, including if he was sitting <laughs> and or if he wasn't even sitting face to face with, with Bobby Kennedy, he could approach Bobby Kennedy and say, Bobby, <laughs> uh, what, what's the real truth about you environmentally? Shove, shove a microphone in Bobby's face. Get Bobby to answer. <laughs> but does O'Keefe do that when he's sitting here with Bobby? No, he does a puff piece. And uh, here O'Keefe is, you know, ambushing on New York Magazine contributing editor Andrew Rice uh, about willful disregard of the truth. Propaganda in journalism is you usually have to verify something that someone claims prior to publishing it as fact. Otherwise, you're acting in willful disregard for the truth. When someone. Oh, oh, and so, so that's not a good thing when you're a journalist. Except when you're O'Keefe, who refuses to expose his buddy, Bobby Kennedy. <laughs> okay. And every other environmental voice out there. 
And James O'Keefe doesn't care about the environment. He refuses to save the world from tyranny, even though Project Veritas said, you know, we have to save the world from vaccine tyranny. The tyranny that's coming about the environment is just as bad. And they don't care about that. But here he is leading in with the promo about Bobby Kennedy. Bobby's an environmental hero. And Bobby, of course, doesn't make any clarification, just like Bobby hasn't since 98. Okay. Instead, you know, this is just one thing right here. Uh, this is back in 2004. I uh, Here's remarks from Bobby at an, uh, an NRDC senior attorney uh, about the Bush administration environmental record. Oh, okay. Now, this is very funny. Now, this is six years past Bobby has been refusing solutions. Okay. And um, <laughs> it's very sad, but he says the Bush administration's brazen assault on our environment. Because Bush isn't enacting solutions that Bobby hasn't enacted for six years and Al Gore hasn't enacted for five years before that, four or five years before that. Al Gore and Redford and Sundance and the NRDC, who's Bobby's employer, okay, and the United Nations and, you know, then everybody else. But, but now it, so it's, it's the Bush's administration's fault. Oh, okay. Well, well, that's very nice of Bobby to go out and blame other people. And so here he talks about um, diverting water from, from a river, you know, could harm endangered salmon. And sadly, the list goes on. <laughs> and, you know, right here, as a citizen and as a taxpayer, he's outraged that his government is putting polluters' interest before public interest choosing corporate profits over people. Well, what is Bobby choosing? Bobby's just choosing no solutions, okay? Bobby is choosing to make sure that his buddies, like he and Al Gore and the NRDC, don't get exposed, maybe. <laughs> I'm not sure. Bobby won't do an interview with me. Hmm, that's interesting. And right here he says, uh, despite his claims, the administration is retreating from our nation's commitment to environmental protection, which were two decades past 2004, and the world is still screaming louder for more desperately needed solutions. Okay, so um, we've never had a commitment to environmental protection, not even from massive environmental voices like Bobby. Uh, to the contrary. This administration is committed to undoing decades of progress and cleaning up our air, water, and lands and safeguarding our health. Well, that's bull because we didn't have any progress in 2004. Okay, the NRDC, while claiming that they were so great, is telling us that this, this planet, you know, every one of the ecosystems is in a critical state. Okay, so we, we didn't have any progress. So Bobby doesn't know what he's talking about there either. But here, he blames the Bushes, uh, but the rest of us are paying a steep price for this administration's hostile environmental agenda. You know, it's two decades later, and the world's still screaming for solution because of Bobby's hostileness <laughs> to actual real solutions, regardless of his fraudulent representation of himself and his uh, partner in crime buddy letting him get away with it. So, you know, Bobby has a lot of criticism without coming clean, okay? And he ends it here with, uh, it comes down to this, our government is supposed to respect us, to value us, to look out for us, and to protect our best interests. Our environment is not a commodity that can or should be auctioned off to the highest corporate bidder. Or, <laughs> you know, trashed upon by environmental voices that won't give the world the solutions that they continue to say the world needs. <laughs> you know, and uh, he said, um, you know, oh, you know, his uncle, kind of like Caroline, oh, he's like my father, you know, Caroline, President Kennedy's daughter, who is now now working in the communist occupation, <laughs> the takeover you know, of this country. Um, she, you know, she's a, she's a, um, an ambassador to New World Order Australia, okay, so, but, you know, Caroline's always my father, and Bobby's always my uncle, you know, but he says, um, you know, his uncle said, you know, for the final analysis, our most basic common link 
is that we all inhabit this small planet. We all breathe the same air. We all cherish our children's futures and we are all mortal. <laughs> and, um, you know, Bobby's mortal, I guess, in that substance, regardless of the presentation he gives you about him, that he is just an environmental godsend and goes along when other people promote him is that he's not. And so I reminded that uh, Bobby of that eight hours ago <laughs> on uh, June 4th that, um, you know, I, I told people he's prevented the solutions the world needs and, um, you know, check out this video, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> uh, one person liked it. You, you got to like that. And, and then uh, Mary McQueen, <laughs> she thanked Bobby for being a brave soul. And I said, uh, you know, see my comment above. Sometimes I post to the people just so a few people see it. Uh, you know what? No, I'm good. And I said, wow, you know, if you are a Bobby worshiper, then you should want the truth. So until then, you are not good. <laughs> okay, so, you know, sometimes I have a little fun with these people because, no, she's good. She she doesn't want to know the truth, okay? She just wants to, Bobby, such a brave soul. These worshipers have no substance either, okay? <laughs> and so Bobby, you know, now uh, he, he's not even dealing with me, someone who actually does have substance because he doesn't deal with you. You know, they, they they just ignore you. I, I can't get press. Uh, I can't get O'Keefe or, you know, Alex Jones or, or Mike Adams or anybody else. So I, I sent this by his website tonight. And, um, I, okay, so, yeah, just I, I filmed it when I sent it because you don't get copies of these things. So... I did that, and then they got it. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, and, and I'm sure they'll be in touch with me. And then, then what I did was I I, I sent it to uh, Bobby at Kennedy24. That has never come back. That email has never come back. Um, info at and info at um, Team Kennedy. One of those is an actual email that I get emails from. None of these three emails have ever come back to me. <laughs> and uh, so, of course, it goes to our uh, project who, Veritas, who can't be bothered about solutions, uh, Bobby's Children's Health Defense, uh, Alex Jones, uh, O'Keefe, and uh, Mike Adams over there at Situation Update, who won't give you good environmental information. And you know, I, I always say, get this to Bobby, get this to the chief censor, O'Keefe, and uh, right there with Alex Jones. Um, and I uh, won't deliver real news, Mike Adams. And, you know, they, they just laugh. The staff laughs at this or they just delete my emails. But um, I say, Truth Media, stop your censorship about this, which is election interference. You know, when you are refusing to actually put out the truth, you are. <laughs> what did O'Keefe say? Oh, omitting is worse than lying. <laughs> okay. So, um, but, you know, I say, oh, and hey, nice uh, puff piece. So Keith did so much for omissions is worse than lies. Reporting without fear or favor. And O'Keefe exposes the truth, period. That was another clip I had lined up. But, um, you know, more like uh, what O'Keefe criticizes, uh, willful disregard for the truth. And I, Bobby, again, since you're doing interviews with everyone, with everyone, will you do an interview with the environmental educator to talk about how proud you are to prevent the light year's best environmental solutions? Uh, well, let's just say um, since 98. Okay, solutions to prevent us from tyranny based on we don't have solutions. Solutions, kids' health needs. You know, that's his whole children's health defense. I also ask him, uh, you know, will you help um, me take O'Keefe and uh, his ex-project Veritas to court to get them to finally do their job and expose the entire fraudulent, fraudulent environmental industry, <laughs> including you, Bobby? And I ask him to uh, help me get truth into the youth climate case, which is now going to trial. And those those uh, those plaintiffs are preventing solutions frauds. And I, as an unknown with without legal, uh, you can't get anything to a judge, even though I have two letters to the judge sitting there that her office has told me she will see if this case gets back to her. It, it won't. And, and they just all laugh because because they they all laugh. 
And Bobby Kennedy could at least use his voice for this. Uh, okay. Willie, no, because Bobby doesn't care. Okay. Or because I say, or not, because you don't have to, and no one will expose you. So although you will expose Fauci and Gates for vaccines, you continue to not expose your buddy Gore and your ex-employer, the NRDC, and more like Bill Gates environmentally. You know, I say the world needs this. Truth Media, the world needs you. And then I put again, you know, I, I do not type in claps, caps to yell. I type in caps because it can be read without even trying. You're welcome. You know, someone do your job. Nobody's going to do their job. They don't have to. Bobby Kennedy doesn't have to be uh, an envir- an actual real environmental person, and uh, James O'Keefe doesn't doesn't have to um, doesn't have to report on it, and he's not going to. And, and these are just the emails that I've sent Bobby just since he started his campaign, which was in April 19. <laughs> okay, and then uh, sometimes I send it through his form too because. That's official. You know, they definitely get it, but it's very cumbersome. And then, you know, out here, but Bobby doesn't care. He's not going to get exposed. He's not going to tell you the truth. And he's he's not going to end your disposable society and all the toxins and chemicals. He, he's not going to end hemp and get hemp going. You know, he's not going to end global environmental. He's not going to gain your individual cooperation by educating you and being like, hey, man, just be just be part of the solution. No. No, no. But what's he doing? Oh, that's right. Out there cheerleading himself that he's a hero. With who? With his buddy, Mr. Mr. I have complete willful disregard for the truth, James O'Keefe. Okay? And that's the truth, people. Share this because otherwise no one's going to know this. And this is the truth. Neither one of them will come after me in court because they can't. They absolutely can't. Okay? Stay tuned, people.